What's going on YouTube? This is Subum Saint bringing you another review this week and this week it's going to be on the Kanker Tech K-Box 200. Now, it's a nice little mod, nice and pretty small for a 200 watt mod. Now, as you guys can see, it did upgrade my little vape thing. That way it looks a little more vapish for you guys and it's a little more, you know, not as boring. How about that? Um Hope everybody's had a good week. Uh, I'm kind of glad my week was over with. It's just a miserable week. I just don't know. Just everything at work just seemed like it was going wrong. And it just constantly, there's something always going wrong. And it just made the week horrible. So as soon as Friday came around, I was like, yeah. So anyways, and plus, you know, with this winter storm, I had a lot of problems with my vape mail. So, you know, I was kind of delayed on that. And... It's really bummed out when you know you gotta wait for vape mail. I just um, terrible man, terrible snowstorm ruined everything for me. But anyways, I said we dive down close, get down to the nitty and the gritty of this K Box 200 watt, and I'll come back to FaceTime vape on it, and I'll tell you guys the pros and the cons. Hey guys, here we are with the boxing of the K Box 200. Let's get down to it. Let's get to the nitty and the gritty. There's your characteristics on the back. Your QR to scan. Make sure it's authentic. Slide it open. Got your battery cover here. That way you can match your mod if you're matchy matchy like me but I have not used any. Here's your authenticity thingy. It explains to you how to make sure your things, yeah, authentic. Here is your user manual. Here's your specifications if you guys wish to pause the menu. Ha! Never mind. There's your specifications. Sorry. Had it had put it in English there for you guys. Pretty simple basic, you know, user manual. Here's your box. You do not get no USB cord with this mod. It just comes like this. Here it is. There's your battery venting. That's where you put your little black tab thing if you want to match your mod blah 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 here's your battery venting I hate that they use this K I just don't like that it just looks too it looks weird don't mind that here's your spring loaded 510 this spring loaded 510 is a firm spring loaded 510 here's your K box 200 as you guys can see it does get scuffed up around the edges here do get a little bit of a gap right here. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera or not. Oh, there you go. You can see it with the green. A little bit of a gap there. I don't know if anybody else will have that problem or if it's just mine or you can pinch it together or whatever. Okay, let's pop her open. As you guys can see, this battery sled does not have magnets. It has this little lip right here. And the lip catches on right yonder. So yeah, your batteries pop out. Kind of a pain because they don't give you a ribbon or anything to pull your batteries out. As you guys can see, it is pretty pretty well designed here. It's pretty clean. You got your plus and your negative and your negative and your plus here. These are spring loaded. So haven't had any problems with button or battery rattle or anything like that. I do wish they would have had a ribbon. But plastic is pretty well made. I mean, I don't think you're going to break it unless you just throw it across the room or something. Let me put these batteries back in here. And put my battery door back. Battery door stays on pretty good. I haven't had that problem. I have to pinch right here and pull it like that. Get it off. And yeah. Buttons are nice and clicky. Kind of plasticky feeling. You do have a USB charge cable here or firmware upgrade. I do not recommend charging it. I would recommend taking your batteries out externally and charging them. But that's that. Batteries are in. Tells me it's off. Click it five times to get it to come on. One, two, three, four, five. Canker Tech. 
And there's your menu screen. Pretty nice, pretty nice. You have your ohms, your volts, and your wattage right here. Now you can just adjust your wattage accordingly and your battery meter. Sorry about that. Now, in order to flip your screen, push the plus and negative sign. Flip it that way, plus and negative, vice versa. In order to change the color of your screen, like instead of black on white, you can do the white on black. Now, you press the fire button and the plus button. Bam! Me personally, I like it the other way, but to each its own. Now, hold all three of them to lock your screen. That way you can't adjust it, and then that, vice versa, to unlock. Now, really, really, what I really like about this mod is it is really easy to navigate between temperature control modes and your normal wattage modes. Just three clicks, one, two, three, and you're in NI200 mode. Now, there is no way to change your wattage here. That It will just ramp up into the desired temperature that you want, and then it'll regulate it. I think it goes all the way up to 600. Ding, 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 ding. Yep, 200 or 600. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. One, two, three. I'll get you in titanium mode. One, two, three. Get you in nichrome mode. Now, I know nothing about nichrome, so I'm not going to comment on whether it works or not. Uh, one, two, three will put you in stainless steel mode. And one, two, three will put you back in your normal wattage mode. There is. There is one gripe, another gripe I have. Let me get an atomizer here. Screw her on here. Now, when you're in temp mode, usually it asks you if it's a new coil. But sometimes it doesn't, so you gotta keep messing around with it. Keep screwing it on and off. And of course, it's not going to do it for me today. Anyways, sometimes it will ask you if it's a new coil, sometimes it won't. I don't know if they are going to do a firmware upgrade on that and fix that because that is a pain in the butt. There is no way to really lock your resistance in so I mean whenever I ask you your new coil that's when I will lock it in automatically other than that guys that is pretty much it I have been vaping it in wattage mode and it has been performing like a chief so yeah let's go back to FaceTime with vape on it and talk about it guys all right, guys, that was my nitty and the gritty of this device. Now, I do have a few cons or a few gripes I got about this device. Um, I do like the way it feels. Um, as I showed you in the close-up, there is a little gap right here between the battery door, and it kind of kind of gripes me. Also, I do not like that it does not come with like a some kind of pull tab or something to get these batteries out. I don't like that. It's kind of a nuisance to get the batteries out. Um don't like the buttons being plasticky and I don't like the giant K on it. I mean, you know, I don't I don't like that. I mean, I understand you need battery venting, but I think that looks ugly. Um I like the canker tag thing. That's that, that's fine right there. I can I can I can deal with that. But with the big K, I just don't like it. Um also as you screw on atomizers with this device, you do get a lot of scratches on right up here right right on there i mean it's really really easy i mean obviously it's going to happen with all devices and that's understandable to a certain point but i wish everybody would make like a bigger 510 to where it wouldn't scratch up the device i mean it just makes it ugly um other than that uh i do i've actually enjoyed the vape off of it i get good vape the screen's nice and bright uh like that it's got a film a firmware upgrade you can upgrade it you can you know charge it i do not recommend you charging it through the usb but you know i can't 
I can't be there at all times to help you guys out, but I do not recommend it. Always take out your batteries and charge them externally. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's pretty nice. I mean, it fits good in the hands. It's nice and small. I, I, I like it, but a couple of those gripes. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.